Physotin is a well-studied, powerful supplement that probably most of us aging adults should be taking. But there's a problem with Physotin, and it's a multi-part problem that culminates into a big problem that I'm going to get to and break down for you in a moment. First of all, what is physetin? Physetin is a flavonoid or a polyphenol, and these are compounds found in various fruits and vegetables. And physetin is found in many healthy fruits and vegetables. Things like apples, strawberries, persimmons, those orange tomato looking fruits with the big stems, onions, and cucumbers. As always, I recommend you eat the foods that contain the healthy ingredient that you're trying to boost in hopes that this will synergize in your body and help you metabolize and get the most out of the dietary supplement you're taking. Now, there is extensive science behind Fisetin. There have been dozens of university studies the past three years and four years that feature Fisetin and its ability to kill zombies cells, which are senescent cells. What are those? They're damaged cells that refuse to die. The problem is they accumulate in the body and they can cause further inflammation, oxidative stress, and even raise your risk for multiple forms of cancer. My own experience with Fisetin has been on the days that I take it, I have extraordinary stamina, dramatically improved stamina those days. So now I strategically take Fisetin on days when I work out the most. It's also reported to strengthen the hair follicle. I take it along with collagen, which promotes hair growth. I started taking them around the same time. Uh, I still have most of my hair on top. It hasn't gotten any worse. I still have a gray line at the bottom and in the back on the bottom, but it also hasn't gotten any worse. If anything, my hair is a little fuller and softer and a little bit more natural brown than it was before I started taking Fisetin and collagen as well. The Fisetin I take is pure Fisetin and it is from Do Not Age. And I specifically bring that up now because Do Not Age provides Fisetin for many of these clinical studies. If you're a university or research department and you want to research Fisetin, because Do Not Age is a health research organization, Do Not Age will donate Fisetin for clinical studies. So when you support Do Not Age, you're also supporting these various clinical studies. As always, you can use my code PULSE and save another 10% on Fisetin and all the supplements at Do Not Age. So, Fisetin's great. You can get it. It's pure. It's not that expensive. It exists in healthy foods. What's not to like? What's the problem with Fisetin? Well, there's a pretty big problem with Fisetin, as I said. First of all, it kills senescent cells. It does such a good job at killing senescent cells. As a matter of fact, it can overdo it. We need some senescent cells. The body uses these zombie cells to fight infection. So you don't want to overdo it. You want to zap them. You want to keep them contained. But you're going to want them when you need to fight infection at certain times. So how do we strike that balance? And that's really the core of the whole problem with Fisetin. Because there's no centralized consensus over Fisetin, how much to take, how much at what age, how much for female, how much for male, what about your body weight, what about your microbiome, how you digest it, how much should you be taking and how often. There just is no consensus. There are two approaches. Mostly the studies are what's called hit and run. Mega dosing or high dosages of Fisetin once, twice, maybe three times a month and then stopping. The other approach is a daily low dosage of Fisetin, 500 milligrams up to a gram per day. The thought there is you'll control your senescent cells but not zap all of them at once. But where Fisetin has excelled the most, including lower frailty scores with aging adults, has been with megadosing. Personally, I've tried both approaches. I've tried the megadose once or twice a month. I was taking six, sometimes eight Fisetins just once or twice a month, but I found the results to be so strong. I had so much stamina and energy those days that I really wanted to replicate that more often throughout the month. So for me, it didn't seem to be the best fit. The results were great, but I wanted to spread them out over the month. I also tried taking low dosage once per day, but I wasn't getting the same boost that I got when I mega dosed. So ultimately over time, I settled in on an approach of taking it twice a week, four capsules, which is 1.6 grams. Now you can take up to four grams in a 24 hour period, and that's been shown to be safe in extensive safety studies. But if I'm doing it twice a week, 
I'm getting eight capsules. I'm almost at that max amount, and I'm just spreading it out differently. And I'm using it strategically because those are the days I exercise the most. For example, I may have match days that day. I take my mega dose of Fizetin, and I'm able to get through that four or five hours of tennis a lot better than I would if I did it without Fizetin. But I'm also better equipped to metabolize it those days. Because I'm exercising so much, and because I tend to eat so healthy, I'm confident that I'm going to get the results of Fizetin but get it out of my bloodstream quicker. So how much Fizetin you take and how often you take it, that's a challenge. And that's something you're going to have to decide for yourself based on your own lifestyle. You can take these general guides and apply it to whatever it is you're doing and see what works best for you. I should also point out that I don't take Fizetin every day. On the days I don't take Fizetin, which are five days a week, I take other polyphenols, resveratrol and quercetin. And on those two days a week that I take Fizetin, I don't take the other polyphenols. My hope is that I'll avoid bacterial infections by zapping these senescent cells without overdoing it. So far, my results have been great since I started this approach. I'm 60 years old. If I was in my 30s and 40s, maybe I'd only megadose once a month or twice a month because your body's not making as many zombie cells to kill off. Yet, the polyphenols in the soil and in those fruits and vegetables are decreasing year over year because of various environmental challenges. So it doesn't seem like a bad idea for most adults to consider some Fizetin. It's a powerful supplement. It's one of my favorite supplements. It's right there with the NAD booster that I take NMN. If I was only going to take one or two supplements, they'd be NMN and TMG. But that third supplement in my stack would absolutely be Fizetin. I'm a huge fan of it. It's something I feel the results directly, and that gives me confidence in taking it. I hope you'll subscribe. Stick around for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.